The first time I met him, his soul was broken. He looked so sad. We're Jackie and Brad, and this is my little story for GeoBeats. He was in training at the track to become a race dog, and that's when his injury happened. They said his leg got accidentally caught in the door. The racetrack surrendered him to the vet's office. We got a phone call from the vet's office, and they asked if we were interested in fostering a greyhound that had just been brought in. What you doing, buddy? We got him in 18 months. Are you ready? Okay, let's go. Typically, when greyhounds go up for adoption, their racing career is ended, and they're three or four years old. So he was still a puppy. He absolutely loves running on the beach. Go see mommy. The leg is fine. He's adapted well. When he's on the beach running and playing, he's on all four. But as soon as we get on a harder surface like the road, or if any time he gets nervous, he picks his leg up. He was definitely scared of men. Once we brought him home, it was months before he warmed up to Brad. Come on! At the beginning, I was very adamant that we were just going to foster because we had plans to move on the sailboat. But apparently, everyone around us knew there was no way we were only going to foster. What's up, buddy? What's up? After probably about six or seven months, the rescue group reached out and I'm like, oh, we're keeping them. We live full time on the boat. We left Miami a year and a half ago. We sold our house and cars, everything. Ready to go? Are you ready? He loves going to the water. Come on. It's fun to watch. We let him have a little bit more freedom. We let him off the leash a lot. We know he's going to come back. If we walk him on the road, obviously we would have a leash. When he's digging, I'll say, dig, 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 and he just keeps going faster and faster and faster. He knows it's a game. When he comes back, he gets a little bath. He gets rinsed with fresh water, and then he just crashes yeah. right back to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> he's goofy, but he's apprehensive. Ooh. The squeaky toys are unpredictable. The same with kids. They are unpredictable. He doesn't know what to do, so he keeps his distance. He doesn't like a big crowd, so he'll be a little bit subdued and passive in that kind of a situation, even though it is hard living on a boat with a dog. A lot of hoops to jump through when we go through different countries. I couldn't imagine doing it without him now. Cheese. Ow! On a rough day, he's not liking that. We're not liking that. But the rest of the time, he's living a good life. When I look into his eyes, I can see how happy he is. He got sandal on you. I wonder why. It's good that we can give him a better life than he could have had.